wonderful, because as an actor, that's what I love more than anything. I love, I love transformation, the idea that you can play something different from yourself, something other. And uh, even though the, it was a long makeup session, you know, on the day when you were getting into makeup and, and uh, all the tests we did beforehand, it's, it was well worth it, because um, that's the joy of being an actor. On a daily basis, it was about three or four hours in the morning and an hour taking it off at the end of the day. That's the bit that nobody thinks about, is you know, having got into it and then cut, you say, everybody goes home and you're left trying to get this stuff off you. But um, it was really important to me that he looked like he does in the comics, because I know how much people love this stuff. And uh, I think we managed to achieve that, so I'm really happy. I didn't know anything. I didn't, I mean, I knew about Marvel and DC. I, had, I knew about some, you know, the, the kind of A-list superheroes like Superman and Batman that we all knew about, but Green Lantern, I had absolutely no idea. So it's been a fascinating journey finding out about it. Well, you know, in there, it's been around for countless millennia the Green Lantern Corps. It's, it's been around for a hell of a long time. And the human race, relatively, is young and inexperienced and untried. So for a guy whose whole life is about the efficiency of this group of policemen, if you like, universal policemen, this core, to have a young, untried, untested human come on board, especially inheriting the ring of his great mentor, is not something he's very happy about. The reward comes when you sit down and see it in the cinema. I mean, I only saw it a few days ago myself for the first time and I was completely blown away because I had a rough idea of what the surroundings would be like and how it would look from the, from the production art that was around on set for us to have a look at. But really, it's, you're in a grey suit with dots on, you're in a big room with blue walls, there's nothing there, you're acting with people that aren't there, you're acting with objects that aren't there, and you're using just, just your imagination and nothing really prepared me for how epic the thing looks. It was great. Yes and no. I mean, it's nice to have people there that you're meant to be actually doing a scene with, but the reality is even in traditional filming, there are times when it's impossible for the person that you're talking to to actually be there. So you'll take an eye line somewhere off a point and imagine the person is there, you know, they may be over here saying their lines, um, but actually you're looking here. So in a way, it's the same thing, but just magnified. Right. Well, you know, there's, there's so many comics. It's been going for such a long, 70 years, is it, I think? Um, it's been around for a long time. There are a hell of a lot of storylines. There's such rich source material that um, if it's something that people like, why not make more? So it gives it a whole extra dimension because the film is epic and it's amazing and the computer stuff is incredible and the, the whole concept of a, of a guy that becomes involved with this cosmic army or police force. There's all of that, but, but there's more than that. There, there, there's the fact that there's the history of these comics and when they were written and why they were written. They were really kind of covert instructions to young people, in a sense, um, with, with themes like coming of age, taking on huge responsibility, you know, conquering your fear. Uh, and I love it that that's all in there. He's great. I mean, I wish I, could, I wish I could think of one thing about Ryan that isn't absolutely lovely, but the fact is he's, he's a really lovely guy.